What's going on guys? Chris here back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys what you can do today during the Europa League cards that we are going to be getting in packs, um, you know, pretty much at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. There's going to be some panic, I believe, that's going to be going on. And there might be a little bit of a buy window on cards if you have not bought yet. So we'll talk about that kind of stuff in this video, how you guys can make coins and all of that. So before we get into the video, let's see if you guys can drop a like on the video. Let's hit 100 likes. That'd be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Turn the notification bell on as well. Guys, we are so close to 7,000 subs on YouTube. If you guys can, subscribe to the channel. It's huge. Get involved with us over on the Discord. It's in the description. Free guides. I'll have a guide talking about what to do today uh, in that Discord as well, along with this video. And then get involved with us over on Twitch. We'll be live again later tonight, I believe. So... Let's talk about it, right? The first thing that we're going to be looking at is going to be the popular page on Fuppin, okay? The popular page on Fuppin is going to tell us where certain cards are at right now. So, we saw some nice rebounds on cards today. Uh, we saw Rasher going to 279 from a 265. We saw Sun. He was up at like 147 at a point today. I don't understand why this guy might be low again, but he hit a high today of one uh, he was 147 i don't understand why that's like 140 there uh i saw him at that price um we saw joe gomez at like under 115 we saw this at like 126 we saw this at 175 um you know we saw some nice rises bruno is obviously up a little bit as well from yesterday so what you might see happen today is these guys may drop again now these are the meta meta cards guys okay so if you guys need any cards like an Mbappe, like a Neymar. Uh, if you want to buy them for your team, if they drop today, that is going to be an opportunity for you guys to buy them. Uh, say Mbappe goes to down to like 1.4 mil. Uh, Neymar goes back to his usual 1.1 mil, never goes underneath that, and then rises back up to 116. You guys can capitalize on that. Uh, guys like Mane, guys like uh, Varane, or v I said Varane, Varane. Uh, Ronaldo, Messi, these kind of guys, Van Dijk, Conte, they'll probably maybe drop a little bit in the panic tomorrow. That'd be an opportunity for you guys to, uh, get involved with them and, uh, buy them for your teams. Um, so that'd be an opportunity, I think, to buy some, you know, teams tomorrow, you know, for some of the higher guys. Uh, I wouldn't really touch any of the lower tier guys unless, like I said, we're going to probably be able to do some Tech Avion. Uh, you should have been able to sell a lot of your cards yesterday through Tech Avion today. So, for example, a guy like Ben Yedder yesterday, um, if this drops tomorrow, this is proven that it's actually gone up again. So, if you look at yesterday, what you do for Tech Avion is you go here and you see, okay, he's down at 32.7. Now, if you can buy him at 30 or 31, it's a lot better. But then he rebounds back up to 35. So, if you look at today, or this is actually on, uh, this is actually on, on Monday. This is right here where Sunday was. You buy him at 32 and under, you could sell for 35 plus, and not even just 35, you could sell for 36, 37 here, because like I said, Tech Avion is buying one to 2K above the, uh, buying below the current price, and then selling one to 2K above the current price of the card. So if any of these lower tier guys who have been proven to go up again, guys like Ben Yedder, guys like Lucas Mora, um, you can Tech Avion trade with them, guys like Firmino as well, uh, Wijnaldum would be solid, I think, um, you know, Suzoko maybe, Allen, right, you guys can buy them when they stop dropping for 1 and 2k under the current price, and then sell them for 1 and 2k higher, uh, you can put the chem cells on the card, and also look for position changes on them as well, the panic window tomorrow should be around 5 to about 7 p.m. UK time, I think once you hit 7 p.m., that's when a lot of people are gonna start to buy back, uh, and I do think we're gonna get some pack supply. I think people are gonna definitely go and buy in um, some of the promo packs in the store with this new Europa League team, uh, you know, that's come out pretty much. Um, if I show you guys the loading screen on um, on the FIFA page right now, let me go show you guys really quickly here if the menus would stop lagging. Um, other things to look out for tomorrow might be some road to the final huge drop offs as well. Uh, so if we go to the road to the final team. Uh, this might be the last time you actually get in on some of these roads to the finals because I don't think Wednesday is going to make the market drop that much. And uh, Thursday rewards, I don't really see them dropping that much either. I see people trying to buy them at Thursday rewards. So that today might be that day or, or tomorrow, depending on where you live in the world. On Tuesday, it might be an opportunity to buy some of these roads to the finals if they drop tomorrow. 
Uh, here's the loading screen, by the way. It's about to come up on your screen uh, right now. If we can, uh, if we can get a loading screen here. So we're gonna probably get a, a Leon Bailey. The Portuguese player is probably gonna be Renato Sanchez. Um, indeed, he could be one of them, and I think a bombing in in Sun could be one of the other ones as well. So that's what you're gonna see tomorrow. We're gonna have five of those cars. They're gonna get put back into packs. Um, and I don't know how long they're gonna be in packs for, but they're gonna be super rare. So what's gonna happen, guys? You're gonna have all this panic selling going on, but because the packs are out on a Tuesday, uh, you're not gonna see as much packs being ripped open. Um, you know, then as a Friday. So you're not going to see as much supply. You're going to see these guys be really high in price. And you're going to see the market rebound very nicely tomorrow night. So, another thing you guys can look at, like I said, is past specials, past informs, okay? You want to be looking at guys that are... And by the way, my browser is so slow right now. But if you look at a guy like a combo here at 115, right? What if he drops that? Um, if you see any panic on these guys, you guys could definitely take advantage of it. Obviously, while you're looking at the panic, make sure that you are... Um, like where wary of like what team week we might get uh this wednesday don't be buying anything that might go down because of a team week card but you could definitely buy a lot of these special cards uh and see them rebound i think it's gonna be a good opportunity not only to uh you could probably sell them on tuesday night but you can also sell them wednesday you could sell them thursday you could sell them friday night uh, i think it's gonna be a good opportunity to buy some of these specials tomorrow if they drop and then sell them for more on the next few days and like i said Never have a certain day that you're going to sell the card at. You sell when you're happy with the profit. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, any of those days will be fine to sell. Um, obviously, every single day more you're waiting, you're, they could come out with a card that makes your investment drop. But I would take advantage of this special card market. I think that is something that is going to probably drop a little bit tomorrow. And I can't stress it enough. I think Road to the Finals might be the buy tomorrow. Because I just don't see anything on Wednesday making those cards drop. And I just see rewards on Thursday. Especially for the upper tier cards. Like, if you're talking about like a, a Davies, a Klosterman, a Zachariah, a Griezmann. Even like a guy like Oblak. I don't really see much dropping in price of these guys. So if they drop due to panic selling. Or if they drop because they're actually being supplied in the market. Today might be that day to buy. I think for the lower tier guys like Perisic, Tyson, Muriel, Sanson. These kind of guys. You might be able to buy uh at rewards on thursday but the only thing that can make the, the these guys drop on wednesday night is if people are panic selling them because they want to go buy them back at rewards but i don't know if they're gonna actually like i think today might be that day to buy some of these roads to the finals so be on the lookout for that to see if they have a huge uh price um correction if they just drop a decent amount um you know based on where they were today now another thing, I, another thing you guys can do tomorrow is obviously look at spc fodder SBC fodder should be, and these menus are so slow. So EA has pretty much bought Fuppin because the menus on this are just so slow right now. But you go to cheapest player of rating. And what I would be looking at is uh, Prem player of the month specific, okay? Uh, the reason I would do that is because I think Prem player of the month is going to be on Friday. So you look at guys like De Gea, you look at guys like Henderson, uh, you look at guys like, um, who's another one? Like, you look at a guy like Bernardo Silva. You look at a guy like Ederson, Kane. Uh, try to find them at 2 to 3k under their current price. And you should see them rise going into the uh, Friday pl Prem Player of the Month. I think it's going to be Kane. But I think they're going to be highest before the SBC. Because I know a lot of people are ha they have SBC fodder right now. So you might be able to get him. Um, get those cards to sell for a little bit of profit before the SBC comes out on Friday. So that's something to look at, in my opinion. Uh, another thing to look at, we always talk about it, is the icon market, right? If any of these Roads to the Finals or any of these Europa League cards are making the Roads to the Final market, or not Roads to the Final, the icon market drop, uh, that could be an opportunity for you guys to get on some icons. Uh, if you want to sell them, you know, Tuesday night, if you want to sell them on Wednesday, or if you want to sell them on Thursday or Friday, uh, you can put basic on them. And you can just try to see what your budget is and see if you can uh, make some coins with that. Um, this is, there should be some panic tomorrow. I, I think there's going to be some decent panic. Um, you know, obviously these guys are going into packs uh, between five and seven p.m. UK time. I think is when that panic window is going to be. We talked about Tech Avion trading. We talked about the road to the final possibly being a buy time. Uh, icons cheapest player by rating and the informs the informs and the popular players for the top tier guys man i think is going to be a really good time to get on some of those guys uh to sell wednesday on a rebound thursday friday whatever and i'd really specifically be looking at cards that are going at a packs that drop 
Like, if a guy like Bruno Fernandez drops back down tomorrow at 92K, you gotta buy that, in my opinion. You gotta buy that. Um, because, again, if he's getting panic sold, he's out of packs on the next day, right? Even a guy like uh, like Rashford, again, if Rashford drops back down to 260s tomorrow, that could be a good opportunity to get him uh, for an investment. Like, currently, right now, uh, he's close to being, like, 280K. Like, he's pretty close. Um so that's something I think you guys should be looking at. He's 275 right now. But this is something I look at. So thank you guys for watching the video today. It will probably be the first of two uploads tonight. Uh, but that's everything you guys can be looking at uh, for tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Come subscribe if you're new right here. And I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.